Hello everyone, welcome to an another exciting Edureka session on cybersecurity. Today, we are exploring the top 10 cybersecurity projects that can make a real impact on your resume and can help kickstart your career in this field. When searching for a job on platforms like Nokri.com, LinkedIn or Indeed, you are likely to find a wide range of cybersecurity positions. However, most of these roles demand significant experience, something that can be challenging to have as a fresher. But here's the good news. Projects offer a way to demonstrate your hands-on experience with cybersecurity tools and techniques, even as a beginner. But working on these projects, you'll not only strengthen your resume, but also build a stronger GitHub profile, increase your LinkedIn engagement, expand your connections, and much more. By working on these projects, you'll not only strengthen your resume, but also build a stronger GitHub profile, increase your LinkedIn engagement, expand your connections, and much more. Even contributing to others' projects on GitHub can give your profile a significant boost. Remember, recruiters appreciate candidates who actively engage with projects. So, if you're out there applying but struggling to get noticed due to limited experience, don't worry. We have got you covered with the top 10 cybersecurity projects to get you started. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our Edureka's YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for the latest tech content from Edureka. Also visit the Edureka website for various training and certification courses. The link to the website is in the description box below. We'll be counting down from number 10 to number 1. So be sure to stick around, especially for the top 3 projects. They're absolute game changers that can really set you apart by showcasing your skills and specialities. So without further ado, let's jump into our top 10 cybersecurity projects list. Starting with number 10, Password Cracking Tool. We are starting with the password cracking tool, an essential part of penetration testing. It simulates a hacker's attempt to break into a system by testing password strength. Let's see how it works. The tool uses two primary methods for cracking passwords, brute force and dictionary attacks. In brute force, it tries every possible combination of characters until it finds the correct one. In a dictionary attack, it uses a list of common words, phrases and password combinations to guess the password. This can be done on hashed passwords, often used in database breaches. The use of this is, penetration testers use this tool to test whether users are choosing weak passwords. Often in a real-world scenario where an organization has suspiciously weak password policies, it helps uncover vulnerabilities before malicious hackers can exploit them. It's vital to understand why complex passwords and additional layers like two-factor authentication are so important for securing accounts. Number 9, we have Automated Phishing Attack Simulator. Now let's move on to building a phishing attack simulator. Phishing remains one of the top methods used by cyber criminals to steal personal and corporate data. The simulator sends emails that appear to be from legitimate sources, like banks, government agencies or even co-workers, tricking users into clicking on malicious links or downloading infected attachments. You can craft these emails to reassemble real phishing campaigns that happen in the wild. By tracking interactions like link clicks and responses, you can see who's most vulnerable. Phishing is often the earliest way for hackers to get into a system because it targets human behavior, not just technology. This tool is invaluable for training employees to recognize phishing attempts. It helps companies simulate real-world attacks, identify weak spots in their staff's awareness and develop better training to reduce risks. Organizations can use the data to strengthen their security posture as well. Number 8, we have Network Packet Sniffer. Next, let's build a Network Packet Sniffer, a tool for capturing and analyzing the data being transmitted across a network. This is essential for monitoring network traffic and detecting suspicious activity. A Network Packet Sniffer intercepts data packets as they move through a network. These packets might contain sensitive information such as passwords, usernames, and other forms of private data. The sniffer captures the data and decodes it for analysis. By monitoring unencrypted traffic or identifying untrusted sources, you can spot malicious behavior or unauthorized access. Security professionals commonly use packet sniffers to troubleshoot network issues and detect potential threats, like data leaks or unauthorized access. In a real-world setting, it can identify malware, brute force attacks, or other forms of network-based cyber attacks. It's often one of the first tools used in security audit. Number 7, we have Keylogger. A keylogger is a tool that records every keystroke made on a computer. You're going to build one to understand how attackers might exploit it, 
and also learn how to detect and protect against it. A keylogger runs in a background of a system and secretly records everything typed on a keyboard. Passwords, messages, credit card numbers, etc. It then stores this information in a hidden log file that can be accessed later. Some advanced keyloggers even record mouse movements or take screenshots. Keyloggers are often used in cybercrime to steal sensitive information like login credentials. Ethical hackers use them in controlled environments during penetration tests to show how easily sensitive data can be captured. They help organizations realize the need for strong encryption, multi-factor authentication, and endpoint protection. Number 6. We have Vulnerability Scanner Vulnerability Scanner is a tool that identifies weaknesses in your system or network that attackers could exploit. Let's build one to understand how security holes can be discovered automatically. The scanner works by comparing the system's configurations, software versions, and setting with a database of known vulnerabilities. If it finds that a system is running outdated software or has open ports that could be exploited, it flags it has a vulnerability. It may also test for things like weak passwords, unsecured services, or unnecessary open ports. Vulnerability scanners are indispensable in proactive security. They help penetration testers and IT teams assess whether their systems are up to date with the latest security patches and configurations. By identifying and fixing vulnerabilities early, organizations can prevent cyber criminals from exploiting them. It's a fundamental tool for any security toolkit. Number 5. Now we are going to work on a web application firewall, which protects web applications from attacks such as SQL injection, XSS, and other by filtering and monitoring HTTP requests. A web application firewall sits between the web application and the internet. It inspects incoming HTTP requests to filter out malicious traffic and prevent harmful requests from reaching the web server. The web application firewall uses predefined security rules and machine learning to detect and block attack patterns, such as SQL injection or cross-site scripting. Web application firewalls are essential for protecting web application, which are increasingly becoming a target for cyber criminals. They prevent unauthorized access, protect sensitive data, and ensure business continuity. By intercepting malicious traffic before it reaches the web application, a web application firewall acts as the first line of defense in a web security strategy. Number 4. Use the Social Engineering Toolkit A powerful tool used to stimulate social engineering attacks. This project helps you understand the human side of cybersecurity by mimicking the tactics used by the hackers to trick people into giving up sensitive information. The Social Engineering Toolkit framework allows you to craft phishing emails and fake websites and conduct phone phishing. It includes pre-configured templates for common social engineering attacks, such as fake login pages, malicious email attachments, and fake alerts designed to induce fear and get users to act impulsively. Social engineering is one of the most effective ways to breach security because it targets human error rather than technical flaws. Security teams use this toolkit to train employees, test their awareness and develop more effective security policies. This tool is also used during the penetration testing to evaluate an organization's susceptibility to social engineering attacks. Alright, we have covered some exciting projects so far. But now, we are getting into the real heavy hitters. These last three projects truly set advanced cybersecurity professionals apart. If you want to dive deeper and make an impact in real-world security, then buckle up because the top three are where things get serious. Number 3. We have SQL Injection Tool, which is designed to exploit vulnerabilities in web applications that do not properly filter user input. It allows attackers to run arbitrary SQL queries against a database. When a web application takes user input, like a username or password, and directly incorporates into a SQL query without proper sanitization, an attacker can inject malicious SQL code to manipulate the query. The tool automates this attack by inserting SQL commands into input fields, such as login forms and attempting to extract data from the backend database. SQL injection is one of the oldest and most dangerous web vulnerabilities. Penetration testers use this toolkit to test the weak database security. By finding and fixing these vulnerabilities, businesses can prevent data breaches, unauthorized access to sensitive information, and data manipulation. Number two we have is wireless network cracking tool. Let's tackle wireless security by creating a wireless network cracking tool. This tool will test the security of Wi-Fi networks and attempt to crack encryption method like WPA2. 
The tool works by capturing encrypted packets from a wireless network and attempting to crack the encryption key using methods like dictionary attacks, brute force, or known password lists. It captures the data traffic and then tries to decrypt it to gain access to the network. This project is essential for testing the strength of wireless network security. If a network's password is weak or the encryption method is outdated, this tool can expose those vulnerabilities. Network administrators use it to ensure Wi-Fi networks are properly secured, preventing unauthorized access and data breaches. At number one, we have Exploit Development Framework. The Exploit Development Framework is an advanced tool for creating, testing, and deploying exploits against known vulnerabilities. It's crucial for professional penetration testers and security researchers. The framework allows you to write custom exploits and test them against vulnerable systems or applications. It automates the process of finding and exploiting vulnerabilities, from crafting malicious payloads to bypassing security controls like antivirus or firewalls. It also includes tools to create reverse shells, escalate privileges, and manipulate data. This tool is invaluable for penetration testers who need to assess an organization's defenses by actively exploiting vulnerabilities. Security researchers also use it to demonstrate how vulnerabilities can be exploited and how to protect against them. In real-world penetration testing, this framework is essential for simulating real attacks and proving that a system or application is vulnerable. And there you have it, our top 10 cybersecurity projects, each one from password cracking to vulnerability scanning, bringing you closer to mastering critical skills and building a portfolio that proves your capability to tackle real-world security challenges. With this, we have come to an end to this video on cybersecurity projects. If you enjoyed listening to this video, please be kind enough to like it. And you can comment on any doubts and queries. We will reply to them as soon as possible. Do look up for more videos and playlists and subscribe to Edureka's YouTube channel to learn more. And happy learning!